Good afternoon, my YouTube fam. This is your boy D Light. And I'm coming to you with another video. And uh, I remember uh, I was reading something today, and um, it kind of like vexed me a little bit because of the fact that, you know, if we're being children of God, especially leadership. And we say we're not going to pray for somebody. We're not going to pray for somebody's deliverance. Okay, there's this um, big time um, bishop, well, very well known, very known, very well known here in the state of Michigan. You know, I'm, and I'm not calling no names out because that's not my place. But, um, you know, and I looked up at the, uh, uh, to this person and uh, I'm like, what in the world is going on? Okay, the post had read, and it was a girl that had, um, had asked for prayer for her friend because uh, they had COVID-19. The Bishop X was a vaccinated. Okay, the young lady said no. Then she said, or the, he said, or they said, well, I'm not going to pray for them. That's the post. That's it. How in the world you hold the title of a bishop and you're not going to pray for anybody just because they didn't take the vaccination? Me, I have another story against that, but, you know, against the vaccination, but that's a whole different story. But right now, I'm focusing on this. That's discrimination. First of all, if you're a child of God, and especially your leadership, and somebody comes to you with a prayer request, you don't refuse that person, you know, their prayer request. You don't reject their prayer request because of the fact that you felt that this person didn't do what you think they should have did. It's a lot of us that do things and, that, and I mean that we shouldn't do. All of us. The Bible says we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. It clearly tells us, hey, none of us is perfect. The only one that is perfect is God himself. Jesus Christ. He's the perfect one without sin. And when he said, he who without sin cast the first stone. So how are we going to cast the first stone if we all are sinners saved by grace? Okay. All right, Bishop. Uh, you know, I'm just saying. Never reject a person's Prayer request. Never. Never. Just because they didn't do exactly, you know, um, what they do. I mean, all of us, we've been out there. There's people out there. There's prostitutes out there that needs to be delivered. There's drug addicts. All kinds of things. All kinds of things, you know, that needs to be delivered. And they're not out just yet. But it takes somebody to love them. And to pray for them. And to go before the Lord before them. That's our job. As leaders. Is to go before God. And pray for individuals. He said the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail it much. And if you effectual and fervent in your prayers and you who you say you are why not pray for the individual to be delivered it's a lot of people that has COVID and they haven't gotten the vaccine there's a lot of people that had gotten the vaccine and gotten COVID just like Jesse Jackson and his wife he's 
out, not say out of the hospital yet. But he's still, he's in rehab because of COVID. And his wife is still in ICU. And guess what? They had the vaccination back in December. They had the vaccination, to my knowledge, that's what I understand. They were vaccinated. They were both vaccinated. But she still got the, the, the um, COVID. And in an ICU. And he has to do rehab. So that tells you something right there. That's a whole different story. Okay. But um, just that being said, you don't reject nobody's prayer. And I mean, I just say I pray for the bishop that did that because no, it's just that's just not right. It's just not sitting right in my spirit. Anybody that's saved and call themselves a Christian and call themselves a child of God and say you're not going to pray for somebody because of something you don't don't think they did according to your knowledge. You're not God. I'm not God. That's not your place. So with that being said, I'm leaving that alone. Y'all pray for me. I pray for you. It's your boy D. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. So let's make it a great day. Till we meet again. Peace.